No criminal charges filed in the death of 77 year old Richard Dujardin. He was killed when the bridge he was walking across downtown went up to let a boat pass. New at 5, Katie Crowther shows us how this case is far from over despite the decision from the Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office. Richard Dujardin's wife Rosemary, their children and grandchildren cannot bring him back, but they can make sure no other family goes through their pain. The big component of what they want is this never to happen again. The couple was walking over the Kilbourne Avenue Bridge when it started rising. As visitors to our city, they had no idea this could happen. Rosemary was further ahead and made it across. She screamed to her husband. Richard, who's hard of hearing, did not make it. Having somebody pass in trauma is the worst way to have somebody pass, but then to have you to watch it too, it's, un, it's unknowable grief. The Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office reviewed footage from nearby traffic cameras and combed through the police interviews and investigation. It found no evidence of criminal wrongdoing on the part of the bridge operator. But Jay Urban, the Dujardin's family's attorney, says they're going forward with their own investigation and will take legal action. Remote system clearly is flawed. Richard and Rosemary were already on the Kilbourne Avenue Bridge when alarm bells and lights started going off and the traffic gates started lowering. This bridge does not have an operator on site. Instead, the operator works here in the Water Street Bridge Tower and monitors other bridges on a TV screen. We had a bridge operator come forward anonymously and said that this could be anyone. This could have been any one of us that we've known that the system has been flawed. We reported it. Urban is investigating the quality and placement of bridge cameras and why there isn't a public announcement system. Why they still don't have a sign on these bridges that says they can lift. I mean, that's a really important warning. Public works officials have defended the remote operations of bridges as a routine practice across the country. Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News. And earlier this month, our I-Team looked into bridge safety, including improvements that can be made to bridge operations. You can find that report at TMJ4.com slash I-Team.